Welcome back everybody to the Alpha Old Basins channel and as promised in today's video I'm going to teach you how to enable ray tracing on Arch Linux. Now there's a few things that I need to disclaim right out the gate. Uh, it says on the Arch Linux wiki that if you are looking for a Windows-like experience in regards to ray tracing, you're pretty much going to need an NVIDIA RTX card. And while you can enable ray tracing on both AMD and Intel hardware, the best performance uh, that's been reported has been from NVIDIA users. Uh, we have the best experience. It's virtually a Windows-like experience on Linux when it comes to ray tracing. So keep that in mind moving forward. And without further ado, let's get into it. So the first thing that you're going to want to do is install the prerequisite packages. If you've got an NVIDIA RTX card, it's going to be sudo pacman dash capital S NVIDIA DKMS if you want the uh, automatic uh, updating kernel uh, drivers or if you don't and you prefer to do it manually then you already know you just go with the NVIDIA drivers. Um, NVIDIA dash settings, NVIDIA dash utils as well as the Vulcan dash ICD loader and for the sake of uh, covering our bases we'll go ahead and do the Vulcan dash tools. You're going to go ahead and press enter and put your password. It's going to ask you if you want to install it. You're going to press Y and press enter upon which in my case it's reinstalling. Um, it will proceed through the installation of these prerequisite packages. The next thing you're going to want to do is navigate to your favorite browser of choice. Go to your favorite search engine of choice and you're going to search Arch Linux Hardware Ray Tracing. It's going to bring you to this article. You click on it and hopefully with any luck you're going to take some time to read this. It'll explain why AMD and Intel uh, hardware do not perform as well. Uh, it's going to talk about how they want more users reporting. So if you have AMD or Intel hardware and you're playing with ray tracing, definitely consider uh, sharing your experiences on the Arch uh, Discussion forums. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and scroll down since we have NVIDIA and we're going to copy this general launch options stack here and then from there we will navigate to our steam library and find a game that has ray tracing enabled or rather ray tracing options i know for a fact that cyberpunk 2077 is a very popular ray tracing title you can see i've already done it here but on the general tab of the properties of cyberpunk 2077 you've got your launch options down here you will control V to paste those uh, launch parameters in there and you're going to type percent symbol command percent symbol you're going to control A to select all control C to copy and then you are free to close ray tracing is now enabled on cyberpunk if I go into game you will see that I now have ray tracing capabilities now the reason that I had you control A and control C to select all and copy is so that now any other games that you happen to have that have ray tracing capabilities, you can go into their uh, general properties, go into their launch options, just control V and boom, you've enabled it. I believe Ratchet and Clank also has ray tracing capabilities. Boom, there we go. We've enabled it on three games in a matter of seconds. So as you can see, it's a very simple process. Once you've got your uh, prerequisites installed and you've got your uh, general launch options command stack you literally just paste it all in there and you're good to go so if you learned anything from this please hit that like button if you're still here and you at least at the very least found it entertaining hit that like button consider subscribing hit that notification bell if you'd like to see future videos well that's about all i've got to say for today i hope you all have a great one we'll catch you in the next video